Angoth Analytics Software Suite Quick Tour R Language Integration for Knowledge Seeker 9.0. This is a short video presenting the features and functionality of Angoth's new Language of R workflow node. Angoth is a global leader in providing predictive analytics software, services, and solutions to risk, marketing, and sales organizations. Widely known for its market-leading patented decision trees, patent-pending strategy trees, and graphical interface with advanced visualization, Angos Knowledge Seeker is a data mining and predictive analytics software tool which helps data analysts and business users with data exploration, development, evolution, and deployment of predictive models. Worldwide, millions of statisticians and data scientists are using R to solve the most challenging problems. Angos has integrated the language of R into Knowledge Seeker with the introduction of an R workflow node. This integration couples the power and flexibility of R, the world's most widely used statistics programming language, with the user-friendly, advanced visualization of Angos's market-leading decision trees and strategy trees. The integration enables seamless collaboration between R analysts, those using language of SAS, and business users. The new R language workflow node allows users to Write R programs from within Knowledge Seeker, eliminating the need to move between multiple analytics tools. Explore R datasets with Angos visualization tools. Develop Angos decision trees and strategy trees. And generate and deploy enterprise ready SAS SQL PMML code. Let's now have a look at the new R language workflow for Knowledge Seeker 9.0 and its capabilities. This is a quick tour of Knowledge Seeker 9.0 with R integration. Integrating R with a Knowledge Seeker brings the enormous breadth of R's data manipulation, reporting, and statistical tools to Knowledge Seeker's speed, automation, segment visualizations, and industry-leading decision and strategy trees. In Knowledge Seeker 9.0, projects are rooted within this canvas, which we call the workflow. Here, you will build your entire analytical process, from the data import through developing your actionable business insights. Begin by dragging an import node onto the workflow. Data can be imported from a variety of sources, including R, SAS, Excel, or directly from a database through an ODBC connection. Once imported, the data can be explored and profiled. Begin by profiling the entire data set using the overview report, which lists a number of univariate statistics, including the number of missing values, measures of central tendency, and so on. Further statistics are available. The data in each variable can also be viewed graphically. There are 20 different graphs to choose from all of which can be customized to fit your requirements, including appearance customizations and binning categories. To simplify reporting, copy and paste a chart directly into the suite of Microsoft Office programs, Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. All the charts and tables seen in this demonstration can be similarly copied and pasted. The segment viewer is used to graphically illustrate the distribution of the data across a third variable. In this case, our binary dependent variable. Each row represents a variable in the dataset, while the first column illustrates the distribution of the data in the entire dataset, and subsequent columns each category of the segmentation variable. The charts can be ordered according to their information value. So, the variable best able to separate the selected segmentation variable will appear in the top row. Characteristic analysis provides an in-depth method of viewing the distribution of the data across a segmentation variable. Here, use charts and tables to compare and contrast the distributions of the data across the segmentation variable. Again, all of the graphs and tables seen here can be copied and pasted 
directly into Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. In addition, there are a number of correlation coefficients that can be calculated. Pearson, Spearman's Row, Kendall's Tau B, and Hofting. There are a number of data transformations that Knowledge Seeker can perform, including partitioning, joining, or aggregating data sets. Transform and create new variables using the dataset editor. Create any variable you wish using SQL or use one of the many included transformations, including generation of dummy variables, binning categories, substituting missing values for an alternate value, and many more. Of course, you can also use an R node to perform any data transformation you wish. I'll demonstrate the R node in a moment. The data can be divided into a model development and model validation partition using random or stratified sampling. Use decision trees to explore and model the data using our flexible, industry-leading tools. The tree model is entirely customizable. Grow the tree algorithmically or enforce custom splits or node categories or ranges. In addition to the structure of the tree being completely customizable, the window placements can also be modified. Evaluate tree model performance on the model analyzer. In the model analyzer, there are lift charts and reports and more technical charts that can be used to compare and evaluate model performance. Now, what about comparing tree model performance with another statistical model? I can use R to develop any model I like, for example, a linear discriminant analysis, and then add it to the model analyzer. But first, let me insert an R code node. The R code node is comprised of an editor window that interacts with the console below. Write code in the editor and then send it to the console. Any number of data frames that are constructed here in the R code node can be transferred directly to Knowledge Seeker's workflow. All of the features in Knowledge Seeker can be applied to these datasets. To create our linear discriminant analysis, first add the datasets to the R node. This imports the data into R's workspace. The name of the corresponding R objects are listed here, along with the variable names and data types. In order to conduct a linear discriminant analysis, I must first import the library mass. In the R code node, packages are loaded as they are in R. Next, write the necessary code. Here, I develop the model using the development dataset and then score it on the validation data set. The scored data, LDA underscore model, can then be added to Knowledge Seeker's workflow. From the workflow, I can add the linear discriminant analysis to the model analyzer. After doing so, it appears that this linear discriminant analysis does not perform as well as the previously created decision trees. Here is another project that I've created with a complete workflow. In this workflow, I've imported a text dataset, created some new variables, partitioned my data into a model building and model validation dataset, built a decision tree and other models in R, validated those R and Angos models, constructed a strategy tree, and then deployed the strategy tree in the form of SAS code. Strategy trees are a flexible method of gaining actionable insights from your data and statistical models. I've also added another R code node that calculates and reports upon the population stability index, which helps monitor data and the model integrity over time. But before I demonstrate some of these listed knowledge seeker features, I want to illustrate the power of our workflow. Not only does it serve as an implicit method of communicating the procedures undertaken to arrive at your actionable insight, it also allows for repeatability and automation. For example, assuming I wish to apply this workflow that I may have spent several hours developing to another data set, 
simply select the new data set you wish to analyze and then select Run to Here. Now, each node of the entire workflow will rerun and generate new results. This automation also applies to the R nodes. For example, if I want to evaluate the Population Stability Index, I select Run to Here. Now, I am presented with an R graph showing the distribution of the two datasets and the variation across each decile of my scores. In addition, a table supporting the Population Stability Index results is added to the workflow. In addition to automating the workflow within Knowledge Seeker, you can deploy the Knowledge Seeker procedures in SAS. Highlight some or all of the workflow and then select SAS code. The entire procedure, from data import onwards, is now contained within the SAS macro. Now, let's return to some of the Knowledge Seeker features I've yet to explore. Strategy trees are a method of gaining actionable insights from your data or statistical models. Very often, performance indicators are overlaid upon existing decision tree models to understand, report upon, and identify valuable segments in your sample. This strategy tree is based upon the structure of my decision tree, but I've added performance indicators that represent profit and loyalty. So, in addition to the strategy tree segmenting according to the dependent variable, I've used color coding to identify the most profitable segment of my data set. Based on this overview, I can apply treatments that represent actionable business insights. For example, cross-sell, upsell, and so on. Now, Instead of having to interpret complex statistics and probabilities, the results can be communicated according to the assigned treatments or business action. As with the decision tree, the strategy tree can also be deployed in a range of languages, SAS, SQL, Plain English, and so on. In this case, when I export the strategy tree in SAS code, instead of reporting probabilities of the dependent variable like a decision tree would, the treatments or the actions that I've identified based on the segments shown in the strategy tree, are exported. This allows for statistical models and results to be communicated plainly. In addition, any of the datasets generated in Knowledge Seeker can be exported. The datasets can be exported in a variety of formats, including text, Excel, R, SAS, or to a database through the ODBC connection. This has been a very rapid overview of Knowledge Seeker with R integration. There are many other functions that have not yet been described. Contact one of our sales representatives for more information. Thank you for your interest in Angos. If you wish to learn more, please visit us at www.angos.com or contact us at info at angos.com.